I missed the everyday routines, you know. I missed being around the guys, you know, missed the camaraderie that we have because, oh my gosh, the camaraderie is, it's like being on a team your whole life. You know what I mean? So it's not all just about yourself. You depend on other people and they depend on you. And that's what I loved about it. And you built relationships that way. But um, yeah, so I would say it took me a good two years almost just to, man, I miss this. Man, I wish I could go back. You know, they're making that transition back into the civilian world with a lot of uncertainty. Wow, what am I gonna do now, you know? Maybe I don't have any transferable skills. Maybe I was in the artillery or something, and so what am I gonna do? And here they, they got a little respite from between the military and going back into the workforce, the civilian workforce. And so it's a, it's a nice place for them to connect with the outside world, other veterans, and then start working on a career that's sometimes is surprising to them that they were able to get into. It's so different from what they were doing before. If you're transitioning out of the military, definitely go to school. Um, I know a lot of people say you should take time off and, and you know, get your wits, but in all reality, you know, most soldiers, especially if they've come from a deployment, you, you will have to go through certain transitional changes and so on and so forth, but um, when you're around positive people, you're only receiving positive. Don't give up. <laughs> There's been plenty of times that I've just wanted to throw in the towel and quit. It's a hard transition, and especially when you're coming into the college community, finding the right college, finding the place where you actually belong. You know, it, it can be intimidating. You see kids, I say kids, I'm almost 30, um, and there's these 18 year olds in class. And it's, it can be intimidating. You know, it's been so many years since we've been, had any sort of like traditional educational experience. So the transition, I mean, just don't give up. It's out there, you just gotta find your place. Reach out to other veterans because we're always there for each other. Yeah, I, would, I would definitely say one of the best things to do is to just find yourself a school and get in it. Especially if you're going to go to school, make sure it's something that you really enjoy doing. Don't just go to school just to have a trade or just to have something to do. Do what you love doing. That's why I chose what I'm doing. A lot of veterans come out of the service and they don't really know what to do. A lot of the jobs they had are not available in the civilian world. Uh, and a lot of times they don't know how to communicate as a civilian what they did. Because in the military there's lots of acronyms, there's lots of shortcuts and things that military take that you really can't do in the civilian world. And sometimes, it's a shame, but sometimes veterans are looked at if they don't have enough experience. So I think career training is great because it prepares them for either a new field or hones their skills. Uh, one of the things that upset me the most when I got out was that I wasn't really prepared. I didn't know how to talk to people. I didn't know how to, because you know, people would get offended by things that I would say because I, I just was very blunt, very direct. You know, I just, I didn't have that polish that the real world <laughs> requires one to have. So uh, school helps a lot with those aspects. Uh, the leadership is, it's not not approachable. It's not so conservative that the door's not always open. So I could walk into any one of the offices and have a discussion with any one of the staff. I can have discussion with any one of the faculty sharing ideas, interaction all the time. There's open discussion in every one of the classrooms. Um, yeah, I'm just having fun, you know, really. I mean, I, I wouldn't see it any other way, to be honest with you. Uh, the class sizes are small, so it makes it comfortable to be able to interact with the other students when a subject is delivered. So, yeah, I mean, it, it's fun and it's interactive learning for everybody. And I think that's a good environment to be in.
And uh, I think that as far as people who are not veterans, uh, in the type of economy that we have and the type of situation that we're in, uh, people change their careers five to eight times in, in a lifetime. So when situational circumstances happen and you have to, to do different things, career training is great because you do, it's usually fast, you can get it done quickly and get into your career as fast as you can uh, and start making money and getting valuable experience in the career that you have changed to.